Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me. I got several images from Michigan that were shared with me from one of those in our community. Thank you very much. Uh, these are from Michigan, I believe. They had to go and rescue her daughter because of the power outages there. Beautiful images, but you have to remember that ice is also on the roads, making travel very dangerous. Power outages, too, for those that depend upon um, having power for life-saving equipment. Um, yeah, that can be deadly also. This, I believe, is a notice from Con Edison. It says, we appreciate your patience as crews work to restore outages. Based on the history of similar storms of this size, we expect 80% of outages in your region to be restored by Thursday e evening. Oh boy, I hope so. And the majority of our remaining outages restored by Saturday evening. That would be the 25th. Please check with your village or city hall for warming center information. The best way to stay updated on your outage is to sign into your outage alerts at comed.com alerts. Currently, there is 2,405 people without power. It says over here, let me pull it over, that 72,545 people are affected. Total flight delays today were 10,778. Uh, total delays within, into, or out of the United States was 2,431. Total cancellations is 1,809. Total cancellations within, into, or out of the United States today was 936. And they got all the different airlines posted here. I'll give you a link to this. It will be down below. Um, let's see, I'm just jumping around here. Uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. 96 uh, flights were canceled, 20%. Boston, 67 flights. Uh, let's see. Let me jump over here. Southwest Airlines, 82. Jazz, 94. Delta has the highest count of canceled flights at 207. This here is a screen capture of snowfall reports. It actually was from yesterday. Sioux Falls, South Dakota had 12.6 inches. I can tell you here in Watertown where I'm at, um, it snowed all night. Yeah, we're still under um, blizzard warning. And then that would be the white areas. And then I don't see anything for ice storms for our location. Let me bring this over and you can see. Minneapolis over there. I often say that we get colder here than they do in Alaska. Uh, with the wind chill last night there in Aberdeen, South Dakota, it felt like it was minus 31 degrees. Where I'm at when I when I got up here in Watertown, it was one below. I don't know what the wind chill was. Now this was this morning as of about 6 a.m. Yeah, Pierre, South Dakota, felt like it was 29 below zero. And the current temperature, this was as of 8 a.m. Yeah, you got to be a pretty tough person uh, to withstand the cold or just don't go outside at all. Many areas are no travel from what I hear. This here is the flight aware, what they call misery map. We got Denver. Um, 71 flights canceled. Oh, uh, let's go over to New York. Well, let's go to San Francisco. Let's see. SFO. Um, 25 flights there were canceled. You can see most of them were going. Let me pull this over so you can see. I'll click on that again. Yeah, they're going towards the uh, East Coast. Looks like the flights to New York were canceled 
and to Dallas. And some up to, oh, uh, is that Minnesota? JFK had uh, 24 flights canceled. LGA, uh, 19 flights canceled. Let's see, EWR, 24 flights canceled. Um, okay, yeah, Minneapolis, I believe that is, 22 flights canceled. Phoenix, Arizona, 30 flights canceled. And um, ORD had 56. Boston, let me bring it over a little bit more. Boston, it says 51 flights canceled. And I already did Denver, and that's 71 flights. Oh, we got Miami down here. Let's see what Miami's got. 18 flights canceled. And way down at the bottom, we have Ontario. No, it says ONT. I don't know. But it shows LAX when I click on ONT. And um, Honolulu? I don't know. Um, it doesn't give me a number. Current power outages. Well, let's go up to Washington. Uh, 2,764. Oregon, 16,953. Yeah, California, 47,000 out. Yeah, they're expecting um, some snow there. Or have been getting snow. Wisconsin, okay, 48,000 it says out. Michigan, 799, 419,000 out. I don't know if this is updated. That's a lot of people in Michigan, you poor people. Illinois, 73,240. Indiana, 12,073. New York, 21,608. And I guess that includes that area. Uh, Pennsylvania, 1,347. Ohio, 5,470. West Virginia, 1,705. Virginia, you're in better shape. 635, it says here. Uh, New Jersey, only 138 are out there. North Carolina, 4,521. Tennessee, 421. They're doing good. South Carolina, 220. You're doing good. Let's bring this down to Florida. Let's see, 915. Alabama, 243. Mississippi, 1,049. Arkansas, 1,181. Missouri, you're doing good. Yeah, we're always good. Oh, I can't believe we got people actually out because normally we don't lose power here. 278 in South Dakota. Only six in North Dakota. Um, Nebraska, only seven. Kansas, 107. Yeah, if you want to plan where you want to move to. Yeah, North Dakota... South Dakota, Nebraska, let's see, Colorado, 1,610. Wyoming, only 39 there. And speaking of Wyoming, here's a screen capture I took this morning of the snow there at Yellowstone. Now, you notice all the snow that is on the boardwalk up above the ground that's not melted. Um, evidently there at Yellowstone, they got over 34 inches of snow. And, yeah, you can see how much different it is. Yeah, the heat coming up from the volcano is melting it. But because it's on a raised walkway, it didn't melt. Here is an image from Detroit, Michigan. Um, there was some pockets of freezing rain that also developed in upstate New York accumulating freezing rain in Illinois, Wisconsin, and Michigan. That freezing rain caused tree damage and power outages. Portions of southern Michigan and southern Wisconsin have reported more than a half an inch of ice. 
That's a lot of weight. In Bringenton, Utah, they picked up over two feet of snow from the storm. There's evidently a second one coming through. In Benoit, West, um, Wisconsin, they got over a foot of snow. And also Silver Bay, Minnesota. This storm does have a name. They call it Olive. So the Weather Channel is saying that for the next 72 hours, yeah, Chicago, Detroit, Buffalo, um, and the New York, Boston area, yeah, you're probably going to get more ice and rain. And maybe more snow. We've got Pierre, Tracy, Minneapolis, um, Sioux Falls, that's me, Milwaukee. Yeah, another reason why you don't have power. This is um, from ComEd. So please stay safe. Stay off the roads if you can. Don't travel. Uh, a lot of people think that they can just drive like normal or they're in a rush to get to work. Um, better late than never, I always say. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please thumbs up my videos. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. Thank you.